Hey guys, welcome back to Ocean WP tutorial videos. In this video, what I'll be doing is I'll be taking you guys through the process of accessing your Instagram user key and embedding your Instagram profile into your WordPress website. Stay tuned. Now, first things first, what we need to do is we need to open up our Facebook profile. So within our Facebook page, I've opened up already over here, is we need to log in, make sure that you're logged into Facebook. Okay, and I'm actually going to close this, and I'm going to add a new page, all right? And I'm gonna search for Facebook developers. Okay, so we click on this over here, and by default, we should already be logged in. Okay, so I'm going to go click on my apps, and you can see over here that I have created five apps in the past, okay? So first things first we need to do is, I need to explain to you, essentially, in order for us to embed this into our website, we have to create an app, all right? And that app is then going to give our page, our website authorization to access Instagram's profile page. So what I need to do is I need to click on create app, all right? I'm gonna create some sort of consumer, next. And what we need to do now is we need to give our app a name. So if your website is called isellshoes.com, then call it isellshoes. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to call it WP Tutorial WP Ocean. You can, create, you can call it whatever you like. So I'm going to press on Create App. And you need to type in your password again. Facebook password. Now, that's busy loading. Brilliant. Okay, and for this video, we need to select Instagram basic display. So click on setup. Awesome. And what we have to do now is scroll all the way down to the bottom and select create new app. And by default, it selected the, the, the app name that we created previously. And I'm just gonna click on create app again. And once that's done, it should take you to a new page. Awesome. And we need to scroll down to use the token generator and select a add or remove Instagram testers. Awesome. Okay. Once again, scroll down to the bottom and select add Instagram testers. And now you need to search for the username of the account that you would like to display on your website. So in this case, it's going to be my personal one, M-A-T-T-Y-T-U-R-N-9-5. Select Madito95 and then submit. All right, awesome. Okay, and now what we need to do is we need to select this little link over there, which will take us to our Instagram page. So now we need to log in. This might take a few seconds. And once you're logged in, you need to click on the settings button and then select the apps and websites section. Okay, and then test or invites, you need to head over there and you need to press select. So, right, you have to accept the latest, in, the latest invitation from the app that you've created. Now, ignore the ones at the bottom. These were just for display purposes. So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna select accept. Brilliant. And once that's accepted, you can go back to this page over here. Okay, and now we need to head back over to our dashboard. Okay, and then select Instagram basic display. Generate token. And then you have to select allow. There we go. So now you need to accept that and you can now copy and paste your Instagram token. So we need to copy it. And now we need to go over to our dashboard and click on Instagram. And you can just copy and paste it into that one. So I'm gonna press copy and paste, brilliant. And what we can do now is we can go over to our pages section. Okay, we can create a new page. I'm gonna call this test page. I'm gonna press publish. And I'm going to select edit with Elementor. 
And I'm just going to start over with a blank canvas. Okay, go over to the widget section, scroll all the way down to our uh, Ocean WP elements. And I'm going to search for Instagram display. There we go. Drag and drop it to the right. And now you can actually copy and paste your Instagram token again. And just like that, we now have a Instagram display gallery within our WordPress site. Now, if you can go into settings, you can change how many images are displayed on the page. So there are 12 currently, let's change it down to nine and let's change the columns to three. Okay, and there are, you can, there are various options that you can choose, such as you know, make sure that they're all the same size. So I'm gonna force the square image and you can change the dimensions. Um, and you can have a play around there to see which you know, sort of style will fit your page in the best way possible. And I'm just gonna click on update and make sure that it works in a live page. So I'm going to press update or preview. And just like that, we have our Instagram gallery displayed on our page. Thanks guys. Thank you.